Okay, we're ready to proceed with the installation. One of the first things that we're going to do with the, with the layout that's as intricate as the one we're doing here in the avenue is there's going to be an inset installed in this, in this landing. This inset has to be centered with the hallway that's going over to the other building. So the first thing that we've done is we've laid out this inset and positioned that into, into place. And we did that after we squared the room off, got our chalk lines, and did all the measuring to get this in place. Now, what Ron and Doug from Certified Carpet here in Lancaster are doing are dry laying some tile just to get some starting points to lay the, to lay the floor out. <coughs> As you can see, the planks are, in, are laid out in a square. That's just for measuring purposes and layout purposes. When the planks are installed, they'll be staggered just like a hardwood floor would be. Right now, what they're doing is they're pre-wetting the roller because this adhesive, the S543 adhesive, uh, requires back rolling of the adhesive after it's troweled. For this installation, what we're going to do is we're not going to start at the wall or directly in the center of the room. What we're going to do is we're going to install two rows of tile just off the center of the room. We've laid out the chalk lines. We have the tile set to where we need it to be. Now we're spreading the adhesive, and the adhesive is being spread using the Armstrong S8 and N1 trowel, and we're using the fine notch of the trowel for this adhesive. The Armstrong fine notch of the trowel is a, a 32nd of an inch by a 16th by 5 64th inch spacing. It's very important to apply the proper amount of adhesive when installing any floor. Too much adhesive or too little adhesive can create a, either an installation issue or a performance issue with the flooring products. What we're doing now is we're back rolling the adhesive. By back rolling the adhesive with the medium nap paint roller that's already been wet with adhesive is it's smoothing out the trowel marks and creating a thin smooth film. The medium nap roller will not pick up any adhesive, nor will it leave any extra adhesive on the floor. All it's going to do is smooth out the adhesive and give us the film that we're looking for. Once this process is completed, we're going to give this adhesive approximately five to 10 minutes open time for the water to flash off, and then we're going to install the tile into it. This procedure is going to be used so that we're going to install these two rows of tile, and we're going to let those set until they don't shift in the adhesive, until they don't move. What this is going to allow us to do is to start away from a wall or not let the adhesive dry to the touch prior to installing the tile into the adhesive. Okay, now, after the, after the proper open time of the adhesive, Ron's now started to install the, the tile. The most important part of this installation is the placement of the first row of tile. If that's not set in, in straight and square, the rest of the installation is going to be out of square as well. So taking, taking your time to make sure that these, these tile are on the chalk line and tight is extremely important. Now once Ron gets this, this row of tile in, or these two rows of tile in with the, the, uh, the planks, then what we'll start to do is we'll start to cut the rest of the planks and install the, uh, the squares toward the other end of the room. Now as you can see, he's offsetting the, the joints, the end joints, just like you would a wood floor, where it's going to be offset at least six inches or more. While Ron's installing these planks, I also want to talk about why we're starting where we are. Typically, if you're, if you're in a situation where the, the subfloor is a non-porous floor, you can either start out close to a wall or you can start in the center of the room because in that particular situation, the adhesive is dry to touch. Over porous substrates, a subfloor that's going to absorb water, you're going to find that you want to install the tile into the adhesive while it's still wet. That gives you a much better bond. Now, we're starting out away from the wall, more toward the center of the room, but not directly in the center. The reason we're doing this is we're going to install this tile, and we're going to let that tile set up. That way, as we start to install out toward this inset that we have lined up with the hallway, we're going to be able to push the tile in tightly against that tile and not have it shifting. 
one of the things I'd like to like to mention is during the installation of the of tiles and planks when you look at the back of our luxury vinyl tile you'll see arrows on the backs of those tiles when it comes to the planks we recommend that those planks be installed all the same direction with the arrows all pointing the same direction with tiles uh, whether it be squares or rectangles you can either install those with the arrows all going the same direction or in the case of a custom installation depending on the visual that the that the end user or customer wants those tiles do not have to be installed directionally with the arrows going all the same direction what Doug's doing now is he's rolling this tile into the adhesive with a hundred pound roller it's very important to roll this in both directions with a hundred pound roller to get that tile seated into the adhesive for a good firm permanent bond we've left this tile set for approximately an hour we've checked to make sure that there's no shifting of the tile the tile is set in place can't move and now we're ready to proceed with the installation We've troweled another 36 inches of, of tile, and we're going to give that approximately 5 to 10 minutes open time after the back rolling is finished, and we'll proceed with the installation from there. Okay, the first section of luxury vinyl tile that we installed was a wood visual with a rug look type 18 by 18 inch luxury vinyl tile. The next section that we did was an 18 by 18 inch tile with a wood visual as a border and then we installed a stone type pattern in a 16 by 16 inch tile in a step fashion. Okay, now we're finishing up the installation with the natural creations on this side of the room. We've installed some more of the plank tile along with more of the 18 by 18 inch tile to mirror the other side of the installation. Doug and Ron have done a fantastic job with this installation and you can see from the overall visual of this that with a little bit of attention to detail you can do a number of different designs with natural creations by Armstrong. <laughs>